Good day everyone, it's good to be with you once again. It's Brother Wayne, Wayne with you this morning. And this morning I'd like to share something out of my life, my personal life, and I trust that this is going to encourage you and build your faith. For that is what we call to as the body of Christ. To come together and to stir up the gift within one another, but also the faith that we believe in to stir that up in one another. And um, I had the privilege on Friday to, to testify, give my testimony to, to two young men. And uh, what an awesome privilege it was. And the Holy Spirit reminded me of a couple of key issues or key aspects within my spiritual life that are so important for us to know about, but also to walk in that. And I'm sure a lot of us can relate to this story. But, you know, in my, in my relationship with Debbie, my wife, I was unfaithful many years back in our marriage and it was a difficult time you know when you when you go through this kind of betrayal it's really something difficult to get over with or to get over however the Lord came in a very specific way to restore our trust relationship and um, I'll give you some scripture back up on that as well uh, let me give it to you now because the Lord says in his word that even when we are faithless he remains faithful for he cannot deny himself. And that is in 2 Timothy 2 verse 13. And when we look at Luke 11 verse 11, the word of God also says that we as earthly fathers, we know how to give good things to our children. If they would ask for bread, would we give them a stone? No. If we ask, if they ask for fish, would we give them a serpent? No, of course not. So we know how to give good gifts. How much more our Heavenly Father, when we ask for the fullness of the Holy Spirit to dwell within us, that He will do that. And that is something we've experienced when we went through this, should I call a crisis in our lives. And the Holy Spirit came that time and to restore trust and relationship, He took the focus off, off the human aspect of that. For the trust relationship between my, me and my wife has been totally broken. But Debbie, one day, she had this revelation, she came into the room and she said to me, Wayne, you I cannot trust, but the one in you I can trust, for he is the one that is faithful. And that day I realized that she had a revelation from God. That because I'm a child of God, and she was a child of God, she knew that Christ dwells within me, and therefore she can have that security and she had that faith that he will prevail even i might uh, i might fail and we should take courage in that i'm sure there's a lot of us today that might even in the christian circles and church might have been hurt by a brother or sister in christ but i want to say to you let us take our eyes off the natural paul says let us not be sensual in our thinking and our doing of things but let us focus on the seed that God has planted within us. And the Holy Spirit is the one that makes that alive within us. And I can testify today that from that time, we started focusing on the Christ within and His faithfulness. Things changed dramatically in our lives to such an extent where we testify camps on what the Lord has done in our marriage. To a place where we can truly say, only death do us part. So I want you to take courage today from Aquilampus say a blood say it owns bookie eight. That you're a daddy who's taken a bow and word from dag. Dog is a tight on from die seer crown slaughter rock. Why is seer great in the lachon from Christus? Om te say, weet you what? Ek vat hierdie van dag. For Christ is faithful. He is the one. The work that he has started within you, he will complete. But that is true and that rings true for the others as well. So this morning, know this, that even when we are faithless, He remains faithful right to the end. And I'm so encouraged by the word that it says that He will never forsake us. He will never leave us, but He is with us. So I speak this morning, I speak restoration over all of your, your relationships. If you went through the same that we have, that there was unfaithfulness in marriage, I want to say to you today that God can. But more than that, He is willing to do that. 
We need to take this word. We need to take these truths and make it our own. We need to confess it. We need to speak it. For when we speak it, we believe it. Isn't that true? What we speak, we believe. And you'll see things change in your life. I bless you today. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen.